What? What a do, bit of crew, it is your boy, Finesse B here, back with the first ever custom build! Ah! Let's go! You guys asked for them, you asked for this excitement, you're gonna get it! I'm gay! <laughs> Let's go pick some parts, I'll take you to the garage where we keep them all. Part trap is HQ, I guess you could say. Here's my limited amount of stock. We have some really rare stuff in here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here we've got a, a Stan Schmirnoff Phoenix deck from, shit, I don't know, 2010, 11? I don't even know. Rare, rare as ever. But that's not why we're here. We're here to build a scooter. So, since I picked up a Phoenix deck, I guess we'll start with the deck. How about the uh, Phoenix Sig? We've got all of them, so. This right here is Tommy Christiana's, I think. Yeah, Tommy Christiana. But uh, this has a bit of a, a green tinge to it. I'm not sure if you can see it in the sliding. It's a bit dark in here. Actually, let me flick on the lights. That didn't help. Grab this black one, swap these out. Which one do we have here? This is either the Roomette or... Right here is the Nick Tedrick deck from Phoenix. This is no longer made. This is all gone. Phoenix is dead. It's done. It's over. These are brand new and they're available at partrappers.com. So if you want to get one of the individuals, you can. Oh, hey there, champ. Hey, how you doing, ma'am? Are you going to help me build a scooter or no? No, okay. Wheels. Oh, pff. it's an easy choice, man. Unfair compass wheels. Scooter Brad sick. They're gonna look real nice. Next, Fox Clamp. Kind of been sitting on these ones for a while. We have the R. Willy uh, SCS. Kind of looks like the Affinity one that they released. Did they even put that out? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, looks the same. And since we have the matching fork for it to increase compatibility, we'll just uh, we'll go with these. It also has a built-in top cap, so the slickness of this is gonna look pretty. Pretty nice, I would think. What's next? Bars and grips. Our bar stock, definitely super limited. Bars aren't something that I care to resell. They're not really worth much if you resell, so we try to stay away from getting those in. But I do have a couple of pairs of secondhand steel T-bars. So what do we got here? These are flavor awakenings. They could use an extra coat of paint. We go with something a little bit newer. Fuck it, should we use our willy bars? Okay. Here we go. Brian Williams, Nitro Circus Sig Bars. Brand new, untouched, district groups. <laughs> Check it, you can see it. See that? Oh, maybe. That says district, that's the point. Okay, now we have Grip tape. There's so many options. Now, we have a lot of grip tape here. We got Unfair, we got Dog, we got Ruckus X6, we got Eagle, <laughs> Goat Grip. Don't even know who makes that. More Eagle, more Eagle. That one would actually look pretty fly since we're doing like a black and yellow. But, uh, this is the one. That's the one right there. This is gonna look really, really cool with those wheels. Black and yellow color scheme? I think yes. All right, I'm gonna collect all these. Can you, can you grab one of those for me? You wanna pay some rent? Maybe get a job? No? Okay. All right, see you guys back in the kitchen. Keep it rolling. Right. We forgot this. Right, so we're gonna run through the parts really fast for everyone who wants to know these specifics. Here we've got a sheet of coarse Eagle grip tape. You can see it's black and yellow, it has a very cool print. This right here is the Nick Tedrick Sig deck from Phoenix. This is no longer produced, like I said. You cannot get these anymore. 
unless you're a PodTrackers.com. The specs, this is a 23 long by five wide. And the bars, uh, I'm guessing 26 by 26. 25 and a half by 26, very close. These forks too, the Arwilly fork and clamp, these can actually run 30 wide. So whoever picks up the scooter, you can upgrade to 30 wide if you'd like to. And the SCS, like I said, comes with this flush kind of built in headset uh, top cap. So when it sits on the deck, look at that, it's fucking gorgeous, isn't it? All right, it's time to get building. hardware out of the rear. I can actually slap the script tape on. I'm gonna keep that all nice and safe together in one spot. Quick grip taping tip. Make sure you remove your brake. Remove the brake bolts. You don't want to grip over them. Cool, it's gonna fit it perfect. Um, we want to try to get it as centered as possible. Always try to line it up at the back. Just in case. Step two, grab your knife, cut it straight down the head tube. It's an oddly shaped head tube, I'll give it that. Now that we've got the outline, all we gotta do is score it. I usually use the L side of an Allen. It's gonna give you an outline. Now there's a little bit of a strange kind of weld under here, so I think for starters, I'll cut straight across. And if it looks bad, I'll have to fix it up. Like I said, they weld the deck kind of strangely here. I think I will do a semi-circle, but the cut's gonna be tricky. All right, here we go. That is very slick. Am I wrong? Come on, look at that. <laughs> Sauce. Look at that. So this is another trick that I do. Once you've gripped over the holes, you don't wanna just slap your brake in and just chuck the bolts in because if there's paper between the deck and the bolt, it's not gonna hold, you're just gonna be squishing paper, it's gonna get loose, it's gonna rattle, it's gonna be annoying. So, put the bolts in first, and just put some pressure on there, turn it a bunch of times, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and just wear down that grip tape. I almost sizzled my own finger just then, it fucking hurt. Pull it out, you see how it's scored like that? You know how we score the sides of the grip tape? We're just doing the same thing with brake bolts. And then if you're super picky like me, because we're building a custom build, I just like to carve all of that out. See that? Now you get a nice little brake bolt hole. Perfect. Just like baking a cake.
Not sure why they went with the three bolt braking system. I'm sure that's not only expensive, it's also really ugly. Clearly the people at Phoenix were not making the right decisions. And I, oop. Box, lamp, headset. We had to use the Volt Velocity headset. Actually, wait, this could be anything really. It's an Apex headset, I've now decided. That looks good, like surprisingly good. Mm. They're not ugly, folks, but it's hard to get parts that, you know, match with them really well. We may have to modify. I believe we just need a bigger split ring. Hang on, I'll be back in a tick. All right, we're gonna top cap it. And don't blame me, okay? Blame every scooter company that makes different sized shit and none of it wants to work together. Guys, please, can we just agree on a certain measurement for everything so that all headsets and all split rings and all crown races and all top caps and all headset spaces and all fork lengths and deck tube lengths, they're all the same fucking size. Please! Boom. We've capped it and it works and it doesn't look awful. So we're gonna carry on now. No rubbing, no worries. I was gonna make a sex joke, couldn't think of one. We've done it. I kind of like the deck plugs on these too. They are metal. Some of the other ones have this like welded over. They had like a SIG deck run for Tyler Bradley and then for someone else. And then they did Nick and Rumet and Tommy. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of like this one more. My knee's getting sore down here. Oh, whoa, whoa, oh, I say, I say, please. No, that was a joke, that was a joke. Guys, that was a joke. Please don't ban me again. Oh, whoa, there's another piece on me already. <laughs> All right, this is looking, <laughs> I mean, you know what it looks like. It looks sick. I couldn't even tell you how many times I've built a scooter, dude. It's like second nature to me. You watch all those PC channels, they know all their specs, their ins and outs, their doohickeys, their gigawatts, their gigabits, gigabytes, whatever, all the bytes and stuff. When it comes to scooters, come see me. And there we have it. The first ever custom build, repping partrappers.com and this. <laughs> rate it in the comments, do what you will. Uh, we're gonna show you a little bit more of this up close and of course, we're gonna do the beloved drop test right now. Check this out. The only thing left to say is if you want to pick up this scooter right here, you can pick it up at partrappers.com. The link is down in the description and you can use code Buddha for 5% off it if you feel like that. That's pretty much it for me. It's been your boy, Finn SB. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Have an amazing day.